my goodness. Well, Ethan, did you did you trip and fall down? Yeah. Ethan, oh my god. Oh my god. Well, he's unconscious. Move over here. I'll give him mouth to mouth. Yeah. Oh, well, it's too late. Oh my god. And he's dead. The attacker struck again. I didn't let Ethan take you from me, Aunt Esme. I'll never let anyone take you from me. Tesme lived happily ever after. Poor Ethan. He's dead. Well, maybe not. Well, I'll, I'll check his pulse. What was that noise we heard? No idea. If I didn't stab Ethan, who did I stab? Oh my God, Mother! I stabbed Rebecca. My God, so I think she was stabbed. Oh. Mother. 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 Hmm? What happened to you? Oh, honey, I, I was penetrated by a large, hard shaft of steel, and not in a good way. Um, she she has been stabbed. That's what I said. Oh God, that means the attacker must still be following me. I can't let them find me. Uh, no, she's lost a lot of blood. <gasps> what? There's blood on my clothes? No! Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call 911 right now. Oh, oh, and the dry cleaner. Please, tell them it's an emergency. <sighs> okay, paramedics are on their way. What about the dry cleaners? I mean, if they don't get this blood out of my clothes, they're gonna be ruined. Um, Chief, you can't accuse me of stabbing Rebecca, though, okay? Because I was um, with Gwen and Ethan uh, the whole time. Yeah, that's true. What were you doing here, anyway? I was questioning Julian again about the attacker, see if he noticed anything strange around the estate. Other than Rebecca on her hands and knees crawling out of the stables with her friends Juan and Pedro covered in straw and looking embarrassed, I told Sam no. Well, whoever stabbed Rebecca couldn't have got very far. Yeah, they may still be on the grounds, actually. Okay, is there anything I can do for you until the paramedics get here? Well, a, a drink would help dull the pain. Okay, I'll get you one drink. Oh, thank you, honey. Ah, no ice. Uh-huh. Why on earth would the attacker try to kill Rebecca? I thought she was Ethan. Good question, Jules. Until tonight, the attackers only targeted people that I've either dated or slept with. Really? I'm sorry, you don't think Rebecca and I... Well, did you? I mean, not that there's anything wrong with that. You think that, that Esme and I had, had sex? With, with each other? <laughs> well, so far, the M.O. of the attacker has been to target only the people you slept with. I'm shocked. I mean, absolutely not. Although, well, if I was going to be tempted, though, I mean, you do have very nice lips. Oh, <laughs> and I just love red hair. <laughs> it's fiery, mm, just like me. <laughs> Mother, please, isn't it bad enough? Daddy's a crossdresser. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. I've just lost a lot of blood, and I'm not thinking straight. <laughs> Good one, Bex. <laughs> yeah, that's just great. But just so I'm clear. You two haven't been into it, right? I, I, no, not not with each other, no. Not yet. <laughs> yeah, then why would someone stab my mother? Well, sometimes psychopaths change their rationale for choosing their victims for no reason. Now, perhaps one of the servants uh, attacked Rebecca. They all hate her, you know. Edgar, her donkey, isn't quite housebroken. Well, I'll have forensics uh, check this gap in the tarp. Maybe we can discover what kind of knife the attacker used. I've got to get out of here before it's too late. Good Lord, the attacker's still here. With your hands up! We're trying to escape out back. There's no sign of anyone. Time to make it run for it. Hell, they go. They went upstairs. Let's go. 
God. I wonder if tonight's attacker is really the attacker. I guess we won't know until they're caught. Oh, but I know exactly what I'm going to wear when I testify against them. Oh, my God. Vicky's upstairs. Oh, God, I got to go make sure she's okay. I can't believe those paramedics gave me a generic sedative. I mean, what is this? Does this look like a state hospital here? Uh, just be happy you're alive to complain. Ethan, did you catch the attacker? No, it's like they vanished into thin air. Hello? Speaking. Who is this? I'm sorry, wh I'm sorry, what? He hello? What the? Ethan, what was that about? I don't know, but whoever it was called from Mexico and just told me that Teresa and Pilar were about to be killed by some woman named Juanita. Did you just say Teresa and Pilar are in Mexico? Oh, then it's hopeless, because Juanita's going to kill them both. Would you be quiet? Excuse me. How do either of you know about uh, Juanita? And more to the point, what are you not telling me? You know... Alistair, a woman, he would be Juanita Vasquez. <laughs> really? You should stop because you're upsetting Ethan. Oh, I'm already upset. Why don't you tell me how Rebecca knows Juanita's full name, much less that she's going to have Teresa and Pilar killed. And why are you, Gwen, so anxious to keep her quiet? Ethan, my mother, as you can see, is like completely out of it. She doesn't even know what she's saying. Oh, I don't know. She seems pretty coherent to me. What are you not telling me? Nothing. There's nothing I'm not telling you. Look, you know how my mother, she likes to surf the net for her dates, right? Yeah. So one night she's feeling in the mood for Mexican. She comes across this blog about the same woman, Juanita. Turns out she's insane, she's the head of the Mexican mob, and she's vengeful and crazy and just kills people. So, yes, if, uh, if Pilar and Teresa have any contact with this Juanita, they would be in danger. Why would Teresa and Pilar be in Mexico in the first place? Ethan, I don't know, maybe to visit Pilar's sister, the one, you know, who raised Paloma? Yeah, maybe, but uh, either way, I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Teresa, it's, it's Ethan. Uh, give me a call when you get this, okay? Got her voicemail, just like I got Pilar's voicemail. Ethan, I'm sure they're fine. <laughs> if they are, they won't be for long. Will you <laughs> shut up? Let me ask you something. Why would a woman in Mexico want to kill Teresa and Pilar? Ethan, I have no idea. Well, I can't stay here. I gotta go to Mexico and find out. How did Juanita find out? About Pilar and Teresa. Okay, thank you, thank you. Ethan, you cannot go to Mexico alone. Are yeah, you right? I'll get Luis and Miguel to go with me. All right, I'm going to book the three of us on the next flight out. Good. My gut tells me we need to get there fast. Yeah, I hear you. Gwen and Rebecca, they. They researched Juanita on the internet. Evidently, she's bad news, but how she's connected to Teresa and Pilar, I have no idea. My life is over if you find out. Okay, look, I'm, I'm booked on the next flight to Mexico with Luis and Miguel. I've got to go down there and find out how this Juanita woman is connected to Teresa and Pilar. Okay, I understand why Luis and Miguel would want to go to Mexico to help members of their family, but Ethan, why would you want to risk your life to help Teresa? Yeah, I mean, after she cheated on you and lied to cover it up? If what this caller said is true, and this Juanita woman has a vendetta against Pilar, it could explain why Teresa's been acting so strangely. Maybe her personality change can be explained right down there in Mexico. That's what I'm afraid of. In any case, I love her, and I have to go help her, no matter what the cost. Listen, please, I mean, you can't put Teresa's latest crisis ahead of your responsibility to Jonathan as his father. Ethan, he needs you here, safe and sound, not off battling the Mexican mob to help Teresa. Gwen, I need to set a good example for my son. What kind of man would I be if I uh, just ran away from trouble? Smart, shrewd, sensible. No, Rebecca. Jonathan needs to know that his father always does the right thing. And I'm going to be fine, I'll be safe, and I will see you soon. <laughs>